Welcome back to the channel. I'll show you how to upload easily with Django to the cloud and then save those links to the database. Here's what our final product will look like. As you can see, it's a full uploader, simple to do, easy to do using Alpine JS. Link to the written article in the description below. So we'll set up our Django app, pasting this in, create the app. You should see the app pop up to call their sim. The sim is the name of the, what we're calling our app. And then also add sim to register it in settings.py for our core installed app and sim. And now that's done. Now we're just going to set up one cloudinary. This is easy to set up. Go to cloudinary, there's a free tier, and then go to programmable media dashboard and then you've got a cloud name, API key and API secret, which we'll need. Then set up your environment variable. So we want to create a .n file and then copy this in. So go to core and create a .n Copy this in and then fill your Cloudinary details. I've filled my details here. These are your passwords, so you need to keep these secret. I'm going to delete these after I've done this. Now we're going to add this code to the top of your settings file to load these environment variables when we run our app. And then we can paste that in here and let's keep that up there. And so this will load from .env our API keys into our Django app when it runs. Section one, let's add our models. This will create a database. So this is a record of everything we upload. Sim and models and paste it in. And we want to run python manage.py make migrations to to package our migrations and then migrate to actually create a database to it run and then you'll see db sql lights which is the inbuilt light database there section two let's create our templates this is where we're going to do the actual uploading it's client side as you'd expect that's the right way to do it in my opinion not back end not server side we will create a signed url on cloudinary our front end then uploads directly from the user's browser to that URL. That is much better than doing it server side, which a lot of Django tutorials recommend, I think wrongly. Let's create a templates folder and then create index HTML and copy this in. So I'm just gonna co copy, this contains Alpine.js to manage the JavaScript nicely and simply. So let's go all the way down, copy that. And then we need to go into sim, create templates folder, templates, create HTML file called index. And then we paste in that, we'll render with some, we'll render our images here. Section three, we're going to generate a route for us to upload our image to Cloudinary. So copy this, create a file called services.py and then paste it in like that. This will access our keys for Cloudinary and then create that URL and send it. Section three done. Now section four, we're going to create our views. So copy this and go to sim and then views and paste it in as you can see if there's a get request we're just going to get all of our images from the database and render them but then if it's a post then that's going to actually create the image so section five we're going to copy this and then go to our urls which we may need to create so sim and then create a urls file urls.py paste that in and then Copy this and go to our URLs on our top level core and paste it over. That will, go, that will take us to sim and then sim's URLs and then that will take us to the particular index view. Okay, now let's run our server. Python manage.py run server. Looks good so far. This is empty because we haven't uploaded anything. It's an image of me. That looks, that's me. Upload. And upload successful. And you can see that that image has now appeared. And if we refresh the page, it will show. I'll now upload a few more photos. These are gonna be shown each time. And then if we go back to our database, sim images and press refresh, you can also use table plus, that's not using PyCharm. And I press refresh and there you go. And you can see these are, this is our database table corresponding to our model. This is the particular key, it's like the uh, location, the specific location for each, each uploaded file. And if we get, went to this particular URL, you can see, you can see me. Congrats, hope you enjoyed that. Link below to my mailing list for any more content that I release, as well as product updates for my product that I'm building. Besides that, I'm producing lots of Django videos. Here are some more.